Well, hello, boys and girls and everyone in between. Welcome to Distracted by Diamonds. Robin with a Y here. And today's episode is going to be all about an unboxing and some drills and chills business toward the end of the video. So you're going to want to hang out for that. But first, okay, you guys are going to see this. And I just want to, you know, I don't want you to be shocked. I had a nail catastrophe. I'm embarrassed for you to look at it. Someone asked me about the parchment paper on my canvas. And they also asked me how I kit up my paintings. You don't wanna watch me do a kitting up video. Trust me on this. I do use parchment once in a while, but only in specific instances. What happened with my Drills and Chills whip is when I made the video for this, and if you'd like to see that video, you can see it right here. I hung it in the window and when I did so, I had pulled the contact paper down about to like right here to expose the canvas so that you could see it. I walked away for literally 10 seconds and I came back and this whole side of the canvas was laying on the floor. <laughs> so that is why I covered it with parchment. The only other time I use parchment paper is if I'm doing some kind of weird experiment and I need to see the canvas underneath it while I'm cutting or sewing or whatever it is I'm doing. And other than that, I really try to keep this paper on the canvases. This contact paper was made especially for the adhesive that's underneath it. And adhesives are a lot more uh, finicky than you might believe. You know, in my opinion, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then as far as kitting up is concerned, um, like I said, I'm not gonna do kitting up videos, but this is what I use. I make a copy of my inventory sheet. I'm just lucky enough to have a, a copier and a color copier at that because of my sweet, wonderful husband, Ben, Help. who buys me everything I want and I'm so spoiled believe me. So I make a copy of this and I blow it up a little bit. I slice off the part that I need. So that would be this section right here. And I run it through my Xyron sticker maker, which I have had this thing since 1922. I never thought I was going to use this again. It was, it was covered with dust, literally. Like I didn't even think the tape was going to be good in there anymore. To my surprise, it was, <clears throat> and to Xyron's credit, I slice my little, um, slice my little inventory sheet there. I thread it through here, pull it out, which makes a sticker. And then I cut it and I stick each thing on top of here. I always make sure that I put the symbol and the DMC number on top. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go on AliExpress and I'm gonna just order the jars by themselves. So I go on there and I'm like, wow, these things are dirt cheap. I'm gonna be really smart and I'm gonna order a hundred of these jars. And this is the size that I ordered. Not the standard size. I think the difference between the two is this is 10 grams and this is five grams. As you can see, they're very, very tiny. I don't suggest you get those. I mean, it's really just basically the same way that you see everybody else doing it. I think when you decide how you want to kit up, if you're new to diamond painting, you have to sit and consider, you know, what you find tactily pleasing. Do you like to unscrew things or do you like to pop things open. I knew right away that I was gonna wanna use this kind of storage because I love to unscrew jars full of face cream. And now we're going to get into this unboxing. I was looking through my comments on YouTube and I noticed that there was a comment in my spam folder, so I opened it up. And it was from Alvina, who is in charge of internet marketing for Victoria's Moon. She asked me if I would like to do an unboxing and she said, well, here's a link to the website from where you can choose one of these paintings. I told myself right off the bat, I'm gonna go to their selection of diamond paintings that I can order. And if I don't like any of these paintings, 
I'm not doing it. If I don't really like it, it's just, to me, not worth it. I ended up seeing this painting and it turned out that this painting was something that I had in my AliExpress cart, which actually kind of inspired me to redo my grandson's bedroom and make it into my new diamond painting gallery. So I have some before and after footage I think I'm gonna show you after I unbox this. But it was kind of weird that this painting was in there and I thought, well, I wanted to do it anyway at one point, so why not? They sent it out right away, 16 days, but that is not their fault. They have free shipping on their website and they even have a disclaimer if you bother to read it where it says, you know, in peak ordering times, uh, it can take up to five days longer. This actually, when I was tracking the package, it said that it was coming from Canada. And right here, it says that it shipped from Canada. Again, if you go to their website, it says that all of their paintings are shipped out of Asia. So I guess they ship them from Asia to Canada and then from Canada to me. So I'm going to go ahead and open, but I will say, most of the time when I get an AliExpress, almost actually every time I get an AliExpress painting, it's smushed on the DL, on the diagonal, like right in the middle. You guys know what I'm talking about. This one is not. So that's encouraging. I may not have to get my heat press out. Very pretty box. This flower thingy here reminds me of Rachel Ray's channel intro. Oh, I love her intro. It's pretty cool. Best wishes for you. That's good because I need good wishes. Number one, non-ironing. Does that mean I'm not allowed to iron it? Or I don't have to iron it? Diamond ancestry, shiny diamond. What does diamond ancestry mean? I don't know. If you guys know, leave me a comment below. Not put on a foam roller. The diamonds are uh, wrapped in the canvas. I love the fact that the drills are in baggies. I asked them to send me the biggest one they possibly could. So let's look and see if it truly is a 50 by 50. I'm happy right now just by looking at this because I can tell that there are no crunchies. I like this adhesive. I know you guys like poured adhesive, but I don't have any experience with that. So I'm fine with this adhesive. It works really well for me 99.9% .9 of the time. Okay, so I can tell right now there's, oh, there's a kit over here, which the pen came through it. So it comes with a pen, it comes with a multi-placer, it comes with wax. And I also know from watching videos that it comes with a little piece of extra contact paper. But I have a fix that I use for that, which I'll, share with you at some point. I'm not gonna do it today, but I won't probably use this, but it is nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and unroll. Ooh, what's that? Okay, I didn't know that they included a diamond pen. I'm anxious to see how that works out. And then we also have a printout on some weird type of paper. I've never seen something like this before. It's too bad it's not a sticker, right? Like Diamond Art Club. So as I usually do, I'm going to pull the contact paper down and hang this in the window in the other room and talk about it a little bit with you over there. Okay, so here we have it. I like it a lot, actually. Well, here, first of all, let me back up. I think it's gonna look really, really cool in this room, which again, I'm gonna show you guys some before and after footage of my new diamond painting gallery. And this, with the colors that are in this, I think is just gonna look amazing in here. A lot more confetti than I thought there would be just looking at the picture. But I like it because you know what that means? Confetti means details. 30 colors and it is a 50 by 50. Nice. My overall impressions. I would order a diamond painting from Victoria's Mint. I think the canvas is really, really nice. It's very refreshing that I don't have to heat press this. I think this is like the first diamond painting I ever opened that was in this kind of nice condition like this. The drills look very, very nice. Oh, don't look. 
This is another reason why I like when they're not packaged up in cellophane because they don't crinkle. Oh, here are some of the colors. Oh, did you hear that? That is my stomach. Um, it's kind of hard to see the colors, of course, in this light. But the drills look amazing. Nice off-white color, which I really like. It's like butter creamy color. What number is that? 746. I like 746. I also love maroon. I will say though, I'm kind of sick of working with teal at this point. The last four diamond paintings I have done are just all about teal. Nice, ooh, I like that color, 966. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, I mean, the drills are amazing. They look very, very nice. And again, I love it when they put them into baggies. Okay, people with uh, diamond painting companies, baggies, love them. Oh yeah, here's my other nail disaster. However, there's really no inventory list. Looking at the amount of drills and looking at the painting, I'm not worried that I'm going to run out. And I'm pretty sure that if I did, Victoria's Moon would um, accommodate me on that. They did send me a coupon code for 10% uh, off and you can use that multiple times. If you wanna purchase this diamond painting on there right now, it is on sale. So if you want it in this exact size, it's gonna set you back $30.82. But again, they have free shipping and you could probably use that coupon as well. And they also have some really cute Halloween diamond paintings. Now they do custom paintings, but when you go to their custom painting section, it specifically says like wedding, portrait, pets. There wasn't anywhere where they said, oh, you can just send us any artwork you want to and we'll do it for you. So I don't know if they do customs like that. Now, of course, I'll give you updates and I would like to show you just real quick my before and after diamond painting gallery makeover videos. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that I buy everything I get, well, 99% of everything I get, especially when it comes to remodeling, <clears throat> I get it from a thrift store. So I don't necessarily like those balances, but I needed something there and I think for all six of those valances, I paid maybe 10 bucks. Eventually, at some point, there will be white curtains or white valances there. I just have to wait until I run into them at Goodwill. But my husband hates this color. <laughs> he calls it park bench green. The only thing that hasn't been done yet is that ceiling fan is going to be replaced with this spotlight so that I can shine it on the walls where I'm going to hang my diamond paintings. But all of the blank space that you see, this is diamond painting real estate right here. <laughs> Again, my whole purpose for showing you this um, is really because of that mandala painting that I just got from Victoria's Moon. And I'm thinking when I'm done with that painting, it's gonna hang right there. You know, real estate in a small house for paintings is very limited. All right, now let's go talk a little bit about drills and chills. First and foremost, let's get into some featured artwork. <music> I love this witch. She's bright, she's colorful. I mean, this is something you could leave hanging up in your house all year long, right? 
Kendra has been with us since the very beginning. She's having some popping drill issues on this one, but I uh, think she's going to recover. I did have this one in my cart on AliExpress for a while, so I like it. I really do. Kendra, thank you for your entry. Janet. Janet. Janet has this really cool skull. I really like this one because it's got that Indiana Jones like crystal skull vibe with jewels. I think it's really different. Plus it's big. It looks to me to be big anyway. It's got some really nice detail in there. Janet, I'm really loving this one a lot. And Sticky Canvas 330. I haven't seen any progress on this one yet, but I'm really dying to see the progress on this one because there's a lot of detail and I'm really anxious to see how this one renders out. Once again, I'm gonna give a shout out. I know Jessica shouted out to her, but I'm gonna shout out to her again because I want to. Heike from Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and this beautiful chalkboard painting that she did. I have to throw a disclaimer in here. Nothing about drills and chills has anything to do with YouTube. You don't have to do anything on YouTube to win any of the giveaways. It's all conducted over on Instagram, so it has nothing to do with subscribers. It has nothing to do with comments or likes on YouTube or anything like that, okay? Just wanna throw that in there. Now, for the 100 Minions giveaway items. I said if we reach 100 kids, I would pull five extra names for five giveaway items that I am hand making, and this is what you will receive. Yes, on the back of the dirty but much beloved red Toyota Prius, which I couldn't live with that. I don't know why I ever waited so long to buy one, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, yes, you will receive one of these custom diamond painting in progress car vinyl decals. So I have them all ready to go. I've cut them all out. It's a, probably a little bit hard for you to see, but they are all cut out. It comes um, nicely packaged in a nice little um, cardboard container with printed out instructions as to how you apply it. So there you have it, five of these. So enlist your friends, enlist your video buddies, make videos, do whatever you have to do. I need to get to 100 minions. T-shirt giveaway. In order to get a t-shirt, if you haven't seen my video explaining how you go about that, you'll wanna check out this video. So far we have about 15 people who've elected to participate in this. Uh, if we make it to 30, I'll give away two t-shirts. I'll be having the drawing for both of those, either one or two, on my video that's going to air Halloween. So you won't wanna miss that. My next giveaway drawing is going to be on Saturday, which is the 21st of September. Make sure you have your entries all in a row over there on the Instagram Drills and Chills board by September 20th to qualify for the purse keychains and the pink polymer clay drill pen from Rachel at Artsy Twin Studio. If you haven't watched Jessica, at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. If you have not seen her incredible performance reading The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, run over there, treat yourself to that. She did an absolutely astounding job reading that poem, which is really difficult to do. I was enthralled and extremely entertained and hung on every single word, bravo, bravo girl, bravo. If you're participating or if you'd like to participate in Drills and Chills, you're gonna wanna subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you can get notified about all the pertinent Drills and Chills giveaway information, participation. It's a party over here. I wouldn't want you to miss one single solitary little drop of information. I think today I will leave you with the musical stylings of Mrs. Gilson's third grade class on Grandparents Day featuring my grandson, Dean. See you guys Saturday for the giveaway drawing. And as always, remember, truth without tact is cruelty. Bye! Well,